this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Photoshop has a number of ways to color adjust an image and I'm going to show you a very good visual way of uh, adjusting an image through the use of the variations command and I'll show you how this works. Okay, here we have an image that has unfortunately been uh, the the digital image wasn't color calibrated and therefore ended up being obviously too yellow, perhaps a little bit too red as well. And uh, never despair if you, you know, take a photo and, you know, something like that happens because Photoshop, is there's a very good way to correct that and that's through the use of the variations. We go to that with image adjustments and all the way here to the bottom, variations. And here we are. The way that this uh, menu here works is that um, we have our original image as, um, as, as it started off, this one here, and our current pick will be uh, showing whatever adjustments we start making here. So, for example, if we add more magenta to things, more yellow, more green, and we start going a little bit crazy here, then you start seeing that this is our current pick, but if we ever make a mistake here, we can always go back to the original, just clicking on that. So now that we've got that sorted, what we need to here uh, find out is how to color balance this. And the way this works is it works in opposites. Like I said, the image probably has too much yellow and maybe a little bit too much red. And the way to remove yellow is to go to the opposite side of yellow here, diagonally, and it's blue. Blue counterbalances yellow. Green counterbalances magenta and red counterbalances my cyan and you know vice versa and these work in opposites so like i said too much yellow so what we're going to do is just click once here on blue and now we see that it's starting to get a little bit better here we'll click again on blue and if we go to the blue again then we'll start getting a little bit too much on the blue side here but i think if we do a bit more cyan, and this will remove a little bit because the image here is a bit on the red side. So we'll click on that. And now you'll see that of all these options, this seems very much color balanced because here we're adding too much green to the image. We're adding a little bit too much yellow, red, and so forth. So this seems to be very well color corrected. I'm just going to show you something else that can be done here is if you change the slider here and you go, for example, to coarse, what this does is it shows you essentially as if you had done like two or three or four clicks back in this setting. If you just kept on clicking on red, eventually this will, it will go on like this. So it's a way to just sort of speed up the process and see where you would end up with several clicks. And in the same way, if you go to fine, you can almost not detect any difference here but you will be adding a very marginal amount of one of these things. So um, if you're having trouble noticing if you have, you know, stopped somewhere or if you need to go a little bit further, it's always good to just uh, play around here with the slider and see if there's any micro adjustment that needs to be done. I think this is pretty good here. We'll go with OK. And there we are. We've removed the color cast. And like I said, variations, very good visual way of correcting that by having all these different options and showing you, you know, what would it be? Does it need a little bit more uh, more cyan or magenta and so forth? So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.